Before this video begins, I would just like to quickly mention that after finishing up this edit, I found out that this company actually went out of business, so this tape is no longer for sale. I decided to upload the review anyways, uh, and I'm considering giving away the six rolls of tape that I currently have, so let me know down below in the comments if you think I should do that giveaway. Without further ado, here's the review. Welcome viewers, this is Danny from Lego Buff Productions, and today I'll be reviewing this Builder Lego tape. Now just a quick note, I did receive this for free from the company, however they did not pay me any money to influence my opinions, just provided the product for free, so I'll be giving my honest review of this item. So as you can see here, I do have a total of six rolls of tape. Each one is nicely packaged in one of these cardboard boxes and neatly rolled up and tidy. As you can see here, I have three colors, two of each, two red, two blue, and two green. In order to judge if this is the right product for you, I'll be breaking this review down into three parts. The first part will determine its ease of use, the second part will determine its strength, and the third part will determine how good it is to sticking to a variety of different surfaces. If you do end up deciding want to, purchase, to want to purchase this product, I will have a link in the description to where you can buy it. So the length of each roll of tape measures just over 39 inches, probably closer to 40 inches once you're able to lay it perfectly flat. Now one thing I would like to note is because it's wound up uh, so tight in the packaging, once you unroll it kind of like this you see here, or even straighten out even more, you will notice in certain areas that the, uh, the back part of the adhesive that's protecting it from sticking to stuff does come off just a tiny bit, so I would keep it rolled up in the packaging until you're ready to use it so you don't risk uh, the adhesive losing its stickiness. For the first part of the ease of use test, I will be cutting it because that is one of the main functions of it. Obviously, you don't have to use the whole length of it whenever you want to hang it up. So I'll measure about a decent sized section um, that I'll cut maybe right here and we'll see how easy. This is just a standard pair of scissors, nothing too special here. And wind that up and boom, that cut very nicely. Actually, a lot easier than I thought. I thought, you know, there'd be a little bit of more pressure that I have to apply, but that came off relatively simply, so that was cool. The first test of the ease of use part. Next, I'll be seeing how easy it is to peel off this tape and stick it to the wall. Keep in mind, I have never used any version of Lego tape before, so this is a first for me. So I'll go ahead and take the top here. Uh, let's see, yes, this, so this is the side that I cut. Uh, it's relatively easy to get your fingernail under there. Peels off very nicely. You can see the shiny, sticky surface there. Just see it, it is very strong adhesive from what I can feel. And for the first test, we'll go ahead and just see how it sticks to the wall. Wow, that, that went on like right away. Very little pressure that I had to apply to that. That was very nice how it stuck like that. And I'll just give it a quick push in just to make sure it's strongly on there. But if it felt secure already, I probably didn't need to do that. And let's go ahead and see how easy it is to uh, take off. So, so it feels like it's pretty strong on there. However, it is pretty easy, relatively easy to pull off. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Good first test. Now I would like to note that it did peel a tiny bit of the paint off, which I was a little bit worried about. Nothing that you could really notice, like looking at the wall, you don't really see it. I, I can barely see it um, right now, but it did unfortunately peel a tiny tad off. Um, which is one of my worries with really any Lego tape, but nothing too big, especially if you're keeping it on a permanent installation. Um, so another test I wanted to see is, once you take it off, can you put it back on relatively easy? Let's go ahead and find out, boom. Like I said, once you once it hits the surface, it sticks really nice. Like I said, I don't really, I didn't put any pressure that time, and it's pretty hard to peel off. So that's phenomenal that they're able to do that. The, the reason it peeled the paint off might have been because I pushed hard, maybe you're not supposed to do that, maybe just lightly put it on, let's see. Yeah, so when I put it on that time without putting pressure on, stuck nicely still and didn't peel off any paint. So that must be the trick. Uh, don't put any pressure on it. So great test for ease of use. Now let's get into the strength of the tape. Real quick thing I just want to mention off camera, uh, once I took the, the green strip off of the wall, I was curious what I'm going to do with it since it's still sticky on the back, if I could reuse it later. I was able to pick up the white piece of paper that I peeled off originally and just put it right back on. So hopefully that preserves the stickiness and I'm able to use this again. So that's another advantage to this tape. It is reusable. All right, for this next test, I will be testing the strength of the tape. So how I'll do this is I'll take a bunch of the standard 2x4 Lego brick 
I have a two x four, a two x six, and a two x eight section of the tape attached to the wall. And I will start with the top one and I will basically put the bricks on and build out and see how many bricks I can add on before the tape falls off the wall. So keep in mind when you're usually using this tape, you won't be building straight out of the wall as far as you can, because obviously that, that's not the best way to build. You want to build sideways with this kind of product, but we'll go ahead and test the strength and see when it falls off. Uh, my guess is I would say hopefully uh, it can hold at least 10 bricks. Um, any more would be uh, a great product. That's my opinion. So, and keep in mind, I haven't done this yet. So, the first brick goes on, and that attaches very nicely. I've not attached anything in this tape yet either, so that, that was cool to see. Second brick is on, no problem. Here we go, number three, and number four. We can go number five, six. Whoa, that was my fault for pushing that off. Did not peel the tape off. That's six. Here's seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's how many I think should be would be a good number for it to hold, and it seems to be holding just fine. Moving on to eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. So here we're at 15 already. This has already exceeded my expectations. I'll go ahead and move the camera a bit. So here's a better look. However, as I moved the camera, it took about a minute to get it all set up. Uh, this did fall off. So I think it, you can probably build out further, but it won't stay on for as long. Um, the shorter you build, the longer it will stay on. However, the tape didn't peel off, which is impressive. Just the bricks fall off. So I'm gonna go ahead and add on, I'll put five bricks back and we'll see. Yep, that still holds. Here's 10. That still holds fine. Then we'll go 11, 12, 13, 14, we are back at 15. Again, look how impressive that is. You can see it's starting to, to slant a little bit. And like I said, it'll probably fall off soon as it did when I moved the camera. But you can see how far that comes off the wall. That is very impressive to me that it, it can hold that much. Just a two by four piece of tape. Very small, very impressive. There we're at 16. We'll keep going. 17, and that's when it falls off. So we'll go ahead and start now on the two by six piece. The reason I'm using three different sizes is I'm assuming, you know, you have a larger surface area of tape, it should hold more. That's just my theory. We'll see if it holds up. Uh, so I'll go ahead and add the five block on. We'll add another five, so we're at 10. That seems to be a safe number. And then I'll go individually from here. So we go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's where we are on the last one when it fell, and that one falls again there. So for the first two, it seems 17. We'll see if it's the same. Maybe my theory doesn't hold up. Maybe they all can only hold the same amount. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do five. Oops, five there. And then another five. Again, remember when I, I first started, I said 10 is a great amount. You can see how far that actually is off the wall. It's a pretty decent size there for building really anything off the wall. We're at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and it looks like it's gonna fall. Yep, so 17 again, seems for all of them. My theory did not hold up that the larger surface area. Maybe if I did a few different arrangements. However, I'm still more than impressed. Uh, I would say it easily holds 10 and that could probably hold for a while. I would say a safe number is around 12, 13 um, that you could get away with. So again, improved or it exceeded my expectations, which I'm impressed by. Now, something I wanna quickly show is when I, I try to peel this off real quick, it unfortunately is peeling the paint again. Now keep in mind, when I was attaching these bricks, I was putting a lot of pressure on the, like I pushed hard, as hard as I could, pushed in. So the adhesive would stick well to the paint. 
Um, but as you can see, that is a lot of paint coming off there. That is not, not that little speck we saw earlier. That is quite a lot, which probably makes this piece unusable. Hopefully these, it's a little rest rough. Uh, this one uh, also ooh, got some paint there. And ooh, this one's just as bad. Oh, that one's probably the worst. It got even more. So unfortunately, that is a big downside to this tape. Um, however, that's just using it on the wall. So let's go ahead and do the next test of seeing how it holds up on different surfaces that don't have uh, paint on it, like a wall. All right, so you can see here I assembled five common household items that we are going to try and attach the tape to and see how it holds up. Uh, so I have a wooden stool in the back, a water bottle, coffee mug, pencil, and a t-shirt. Now before I begin, I'd just like to give my opinions of what I think it'll stick to. I think it'll stick to the t chair just fine, as well as the coffee mug. Not sure about the shirt and pencil, and a little bit iffy on the water bottle, but I'm leaning towards it sticking. So let's go ahead and find out. I'll go ahead and start off with the products that I think it will stick to. So I'll be using the coffee mug for this test and I'll use the red tape. I'll measure out, I'll try to get uh, exactly wrapped around so it's about here. Again, I'll make this cut super easy to make the cuts here. Any scissors should work. And I'll go ahead and peel off the tape on the back of it, the little white strip. There we go. Comes off fairly nicely, and I'll put it put it on this part right here, and wrap it around. Oops, a little bit uneven there, but oh well. And as you can see, it sticks very nicely. Um, I don't see it bubbling off in any spots. Very impressed by that. I'll go ahead and attach some mini fix to it. Have a few over here we'll see how they hold up on there if you want to drink coffee or tea or whatever you'd like to drink with some mini figs on your cup you can do that we'll have mr t holding off the side there and we'll have commando gregor put him on there and keep in mind this is curved however the mini fig is still sticking you know it's not perfectly on the the stud on this side um, but on the other side, it's firmly on, and he seems to be holding just fine. We'll put this shark on here, going up like that. A portal fig, same position as Commando Gregor. The legs attached in the back there, seems to hold up just fine. And finally, we'll put a first order stormtrooper on there. We'll attach part of his weapon there. And there you can see this holds up just fine. So as I predicted, uh, the coffee mug works perfectly. This probably works with any sort of cup um, with a similar uh, kind of surface. We'll go ahead and take all these mini figs off. They all held up just fine on there. No problems with that. And hopefully I can peel this tape off without ruining the finish. And that does seem to be the case. Didn't ruin the printing on the front at all. Very nice. Coffee mug is a check. Next up, I'll be taking a look at this wooden stool. I'll be using the same piece of tape. Hopefully the adhesive holds up, which I think it will. I'll just go ahead and put it going down the side here. That sticks very nicely, so as I predicted, sticks just fine. Similar to the coffee mug. I didn't tilt the camera up a bit there. And then let's go ahead and place some mini figs. We'll have some fighting each other. Let's see. Take the first order trooper here. There we go. I'll get some larger mini figs. Gorilla Grodd, stick him to the side. See if we can get his feet to attach to the tape. And that seems fine. Again, ease of use, great on this tape. Attached just fine. This is a pretty big fig too that attaches just fine. And then Mr. T. We'll have going off the side here. We'll have some figs hanging like this. And boom, that seems to work just fine. So, so far, uh, stool, check, and coffee mug, check.
Now I'll move on to the next set of objects that I think are a little bit questionable, not sure if they'll work. Uh, first up is this water bottle. The reason I'm a little questionable on this one is because it's more of a metallic surface. This is one of those insulated ones. So again, using the same piece of tape, uh, if this ends up not sticking to a product, I'll, I'll use a new piece of tape just in case uh, the stickiness wore out. But this seems to be really sticky still. Go ahead and wrap it around. And this seems to work just fine. It just overlaps here, so I'd have to, to cut that little section off if I were to actually use it on here. But this deck sticks just fine. Actually, probably better than the coffee mug, honestly, to this metallic surface. Very impressed by that. Good to see. Uh, of course, I'll do the minifig test. I'll throw some on there. First order. Throw the Gorilla Grodd fig. Probably only be able to attach one of his feet. Uh, I don't know if he'll work. Um, because it's curved, it's such a sharp curve. That's one thing you got to keep in mind with the curved surfaces. Uh, it's probably best to use just regular mini figs because I don't think. Oh, he did disable stick. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> you can have Gorilla Grot on there. Uh, yeah, so this works just fine. Now we'll get into the last category of the ones I don't think it'll stick to. And real quick before we do that, peel the tape off. Comes off nicely, no damage to the. Uh, the water bottle and still sticky and ready to be used. Keep in mind, we've been using the same piece of tape for all of these tests. Next up, we've got this pencil here. I'll go ahead, again, same piece of tape. And I think the best way would be to wrap it around like this. So this one, it's, yeah, this is not really sticking that well. Um, I guess you could do it going lengthwise like this hey that does seem to work actually yeah there we go okay so wrapping it the other way didn't really work this works actually just fine if you can see like i'm giving a decent amount of pressure to pull down it is not popping off so your standard pencil will work just fine with this we'll attach some mini figs of course this part covers the eraser but um if i were to use it i would you know just trim that part off with some scissors go ahead and put some figs on here See how they hold up. Use Mr. T instead. There you go. And we'll put the shark on here as well. Yeah, so that holds up just fine. And if you're if you get creative, you know, you could use some pieces, some tiles, maybe make a little pencil grip. You can still, of course, write with it. Uh, yeah, so the pencil, to my surprise, does hold up. So, so far, we are four for four. And we will move on to the last product, which is the shirt. Now, this is a standard dry fit shirt. So, not regular t-shirt material, but dry fit, um, like an exercise type shirt. So, we will go ahead and see if this sticks the moment of truth. Wow, it does. Wow, this is very impressive. I was not expecting uh, this to stick. You know what, we'll go ahead and throw some mini figs on here and I'll put the shirt on and see if it still holds. As we wrap up all the tests here, I just want to point out again that this is the same piece of red tape that I used on every single uh, household item that I tested. Again, no left, no damage on the shirt here. The only thing that the tape ever damaged was the wall. So I recommend, highly recommend getting this tape if you're willing to use it on really anything around your house. Um, but I wouldn't really recommend using it on your wall just because you don't want to really peel off the paint. So, my final thoughts on this product. I would highly, highly recommend getting this. Again, would not really recommend using it on your wall just because of the experience with the, the paint peeling off uh, from what I showed earlier. But other than that, this is a phenomenal product. You want to wear it on your clothes, on household items, you want to bring it to school, or put it on your pencils. However you want to use it, this tape is awesome. Lego sticks phenomenally to it. 
I am extremely impressed. I remember when the Lego tape, kind of the first idea for it, came out on the market, I was pretty skeptical of it. I thought, you know, it wouldn't really hold up well, wouldn't really attach, especially since it's so flexible that it wouldn't really connect with the Lego rope well, the clutch power wouldn't be that strong. However, this review proved all of my expectations wrong. Very impressed. Again, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check out uh, the website where you can purchase this tape. Again, not paid to send any of that. I just received this for free. All these opinions are my own. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel for some other awesome LEGO videos, and have a great day.